board term limits for the mayor and town council members? Why? And if yes, what steps would you see to make sure that these term limits were instituted? Ms. Kuiper. Well, all you have to do is put in the town charter. And yes, I believe in term limits. That's all I have to say on that. Mr. Arrow. <laughs> As uh, my good friend and council person, Marty Stetson, likes to say, um, every election is a term limit. Um, but, um, and, and that the people decide that. However, I understand that at a certain point, like the meters in Chestertown, you have to set a precedent to let people know that it may be time to go. It's certainly something that I would uh, talk to the town about. It's certainly something that is not uh, completely out of the realm. But until such time as uh, the town in general called for it, I'd really not use my own opinion on that. Um, but if, if, as, if as it was called for, as Ms. Kuiper says, it's a very simple thing to pass through four people to decide that. It's, it, however, the hard problem is con convincing the four people that are already sitting that it's time for them to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a tendency to want to see a democratic situation happen where the people get to pick whether they want to have a person continue or not. Now, the easy way to do that is just let people run and you elect somebody else. Um, implementation, again, you just put it in the town charter. But I think that that's something sort of like um, the plastic bags or the parking meters or some of these other things. It's something that I would want to see come from the citizens of the town uh, rather than have it be something I dictate. Mr. Fletcher. I agree with Holly. I think every leader should have a term limit because sometimes you get burned out. Being a leader myself all my life, being a business executive and you know part of a lot of nonprofits, you do get burned out. And when you get burned, burned out, you can't perform. That's why it's good to see young people as well as see old people. And I think the Constitution said it's we the people. And I think if we live by the Constitution and stay by the Constitution, I think we'll be all right. But unfortunately, we haven't done that. And I think sometimes leaders do get burned out. So yes, I would like to have you know a, a four-year term, and that's it, unless some of these other people come in. But you need some wisdom behind leadership too, because we're off course a little bit. And you need someone to come back and bring us back on course so then we can move forward. But if we don't do that now, it doesn't matter if it's four or five years, we'll continue to be on course because this is a historical town and historical lines that we have to stay abreast on and go to the future with the history also. I think there's a reason why the President of the United States is limited to two terms and that is because um, you can become, especially in a small town like this, you know, I don't want to say a dictator is way too strong, but you get in a position where you have a funding apparatus that maybe, you know, you can get reelected over and over and over again. And so, yes, I, I would agree with some sensible term limits. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I think it's, I also see this in, in the business that I run, and, you know, we have a multi-member board. It's good to get fresh blood, and it's good to get new ideas in there. And if the mayor is very strong or a council person is very strong, and everybody thinks they're doing a great job and their term limit is up, they can always, you know, help out somebody else that has a like-minded views with them. And uh, that's a way you can push that same vision forward without keeping the same individuals in office. So I would consider that, and it should come from the council. Mr. Hayman. Yeah, I would be in favor of term limits. So if, uh, as Chris said, you know, it's good to get these new ideas, that these fresh um, People in, and not that any candidate or person that's in office becomes bad at their job, but you come in with these ideas that you want to get things done, and you get those things done, and you just, you still you know, have the approval of the town, but there's no new ideas coming in, nothing you want to achieve, and so I think term limits would bring in those fresh ideas. Ms. Brown, I'm not in favor of it. That's just like telling me that after so many years of teaching, you have to step down. Uh, first of all, let me just share with you that anytime a person is doing a good job and feel like they can continue with that, then why not let them continue? 
Uh, I don't think that any one person can take good care of what needs to be done in a town if the term is limited. It may take several years to do a project. It may take several years to say, okay, this is not working, let's try something else. So no, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. Um, I just feel like whoever is in that position, if you're doing a heck of a job, then you can continue. It's up to the voters. Thank you. Let's move on to another.